All right, so welcome back. In this one, I'm going to talk a little bit how to uh, control a motor uh, or a servo. And so the difference between a motor and a servo, we can start off with that. So a motor is um, allows the axle to continually roll around. And so it's a, a continuous type of action. So you would use it maybe uh, in a wheel, uh, for a car or a robot, um, you might maybe think about it for a, a pulley system uh, to allow you to, to uh, raise something a lot or, or lower something a lot, where a servo is something that you want more precision, uh, that you don't want it to allow it to slip uh, or something. So if you want something to raise and lower, like maybe a drawbridge or... Uh, when you go into a, one of those parking garages, you want it to be pretty precise on how it it goes up and goes down. And so there are different types of servos. Um, there's one, there's a servo that's only uh, 90 degrees, so it will only go between 0 and 90. Uh, one that will go from 0 to 180. Um, one that will go from 0 to 360. And then there is a continuous type of servo. So the continuous type of servo is very similar to a, a motor, a regular type of DC motor that one, one would have. Um, but again, it allows that precision. So you can send a signal to the motor and tell it to go a certain amount of degrees. Uh, and it will go and it will stay at that. So it sort of has this locking mechanism inside of it and that will uh, stop it from, from going again. And so uh, now that we're gonna, now that we've got that out there, um, hopefully we can, I can support you with whatever you're gonna do with, with servos. Um, and so the great thing about servos, the exciting thing is it's using these pins at the bottom here um, and then, so we have to uh, access those. Um, and the way to access those is through uh, the, the pins menu. And so in the advanced, we can scroll down to our pins. And so there's a lot of opportunity for reading and writing to those pins. Um, but the one that we want is this uh, servo write pin to a certain angle. And so we can just grab this now there is another one here, uh, this pulse pin um, to uh, 1500 micro or microseconds. Uh, we're not gonna use that one uh, today. And then there's a whole bunch of other options in here, but we're not going to uh, really explore those um, just because this is the most relevant for us right now. And so what we can do is if we just drag and drop that in here, we'll see that the simulator will add in a servo and we'll see that the servo right pin zero to 180 and so again that will allow us to pick between zero and 180 so you can see that this is a continue uh, not a continuous it's between zero and 180 so uh i like when it's when it pops up a little bit of a description here so write a value to the servo controlling the shaft accordingly on the on a standard servo, this will be set the angle of the shaft in degrees, moving the shaft in that uh, orientation. On a continuous rotation servo, this will set the speed of the servo uh, zero in one direction and 180, the full speed the other direction. And so the value near 90 being no movement. And so this is sort of like you, you take your, you know, again, it depends on the servo that you're using. Um, and again, it's whatever application you're going to explore with. Uh, if it's, you know, to raise and lower a drawbridge, uh, if it's to move um, something, uh, then you you probably want to have something like a, a standard servo. All right, so again, um, we can see here that we can, we can ex have a servo on pin zero, and I can go ahead and I can have another pin uh, one. Now the neat thing is you can have a few other um, servos on other pins uh, and I'll let you explore that. I'm just gonna demonstrate um, for our purposes what we have here. And so we can see that you know on pin zero, we start at a 180 and pin one, we start at 180. And so again, depending on what we wanna do, uh, we can raise and lower things. Um, and that's sort of outside of the simulation 
um, you would sort of have to just describe what would be happening uh, because you can't necessarily build on top of this. And so you can say that, you know, like this particular one would be attached to a, a drawbridge and then this particular one would be attached to another door if you were making, I, I, I got this castle idea. Um, but yeah, so you'd be able to, to use the two servos running off of uh, the micro bit, um, off of a single micro bit to be able to do those two things. And so this is where we can add in some input. So we can say, you know, on button A pressed, and we can have the servo on pin zero, maybe go to 90 degrees. And then on button B pressed, we can have the servo on pin one go to zero. So let's test that out. So when I press A, it goes down to, so this is our uh, 90 degrees. And then if I press B, it goes all the way over here. And so again, you know, we want to, we could, we can explore a little bit more. Um, maybe this waits for a second and then it will close down. So maybe this 180 means that it's closed. So it waits a second and goes back. And so maybe that's not a long enough time for the, the drawbridge to allow or the door to open and then close to allow someone to go through it. And so um, you can go ahead and try that. The other option is if you wanted to, you know, wait um, and you, know, you're, you want to use some sort of uh, statement in terms of the light level or something. So let's say that the, uh, I don't know, I'm just sort of coding this on the fly here, but the light level reaches a uh, certain amount um, or is below a certain amount. So maybe it's bright outside uh, and then it goes down to 50. So something passes in front of the micro bit and then it knows, okay, if something's passed in front of it, we'll wait a second or we'll wait uh, half a second uh, and then we'll close type of thing. So um, this is where you can, you know, you push the button to open the door, uh, then you move through it. And so your car or vehicle might um, create a shadow on the micro bit and then it will close the door. And so there's a small little project uh, or little idea that you can, you know, go ahead and build on, on top of that. So uh, hopefully that is a, a good start for you to understand sort of the basics of uh, using the servos um, within the make code simulator. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, I'm excited to support you in all of your learning endeavors. All right, thanks very much. Happy coding.